Okay, so now I'm going to tell you and everybody, this is for everybody, all the newbies, the new people watching this. I'm going to tell all, everybody, the formula for curing anything. This is how you cure anything, what I'm going to tell you now. Now, you, in your case, it's smoking, okay? So I want to contrast that with herpes, because a lot of people call me and they want, they're asking me about curing herpes. And you do it the same way as you cure smoking, which is when you feel like smoking, like let's, you've been down to about, what, a few cigarettes a day, you were saying? Three. All right, so you're down. Two or three. So you're down to two or three cigarettes a day. So what, yes. what you do when you feel like, okay, I'm, 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 I got to have a cigarette now, I'm going to have one of my three cigarettes. You say, okay, instead of that, I'm going to do a Munich. Okay, yes. So instead of that, you take that time and you do a Munich and you remove, okay. you remove the traumas. Like that's, that's going to be your time when you find these traumas that you say they're the key. So you're going to sit down, you're going to take a walk out in the forest or so. You're going to, you know, like, you know, do whatever you do when you smoke, you know, just. Dudes, <laughs> dudes, you should, uh, Al, Ron, you should be right up next to Al, you know, so your heads are the same size, or even ahead of Al. <laughs> and we got Maury in the middle. That's good. This is good. All right. Well, what we're going to do, I'll, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to, um, we're going to do basic immunics to help Rosella stop smoking. Thank you. Yeah, we, that's what we're doing today. And then we're going to uh, talk to the people who are new people who are watching this movie. And we'll all give them some advice. Maury, have you been doing Immunics? I mean, I've watched a few of your events, but I haven't really done anything beyond that with it. I mean, I do energy healing all the time. Yeah, because that, that's what you do for a living, all right? Isn't it? You're an energy healer? I thought. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, so, so you mean... Um, you ha but you haven't actually, do you get signals? Do you test? I feel right inside people's body when I'm working with them. If there's, I follow their breath. There's no lies. Yeah, that's good. Very good. It tells me how they breathe. So. Very good. I think, we, I think all of us are able to do that. Um, I'll tell you what, when we're doing this with Ross, I'm, I'm going to say this to you and anybody who's watching this movie. When we're doing this with Ross, follow along and test for her. And in Maury, in your case, and in all of our case who are live on this, we should be testing for Ross. And we can also, as you were saying, you can go right inside her body and get in there and, you know, help her that way. Whatever you're good at is, you know, totally acceptable. And we can all do that with Ross. I'm doing it with her right now. Ross, can you feel that? I have a feeling in my solar plexus. That's where, that's good. Okay, that's where I was. But maybe I'm, it's not just me in there. But we're all rattling around inside you today. How's that feeling to you? <laughs> <laughs> Does that feel good? <laughs> a lot of people. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of us in. Just how many of you are there in there, anyway? <laughs> okay. Um, so we're, we're, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be um, helping you with the smoking. So we're okay. going to do specific immunic actions to cure smoking. Okay, fine. Right, okay. Now, but I want you to relax. Really, if you need to move around a little bit to relax, just be relaxed, okay? Okay, okay, I will. And I want everybody just to say, I'm now removing all pathologies from all my bodies. Just say this for yourselves and, and get a signal. Al and Franny and Greg, hold your hand up so we can see your signals. I can't see Al. Just hold up your hands and say, I'm now removing all pathologies from all my bodies. And let's see you get a signal. 
Okay, yeah. we don't have to hold our hands up all through the movie, but I wanted the viewers just to see what this one time what your signal looks like. Okay, so now, Ross, I want you to say, do I have smoking in my celestial body? Do I have smoking in my celestial body? I get no. Okay, and we're using the word smoking to connote the whole range of addiction, you know, and, and compulsion, and attachment, and habits, and adaptive behaviors. Everything that smoking is, it's a code. We're using the word smoking to, you know, to indicate that code, okay? Okay. Now, I just want you to know, I just turned my video off because it makes a better picture of you when I'm doing okay. this. So, yeah, you didn't lose me. I'm still on here. But. Okay, now, yeah. what, so test this now. Do I have smoking in my etheric body? Do I have smoking in my etheric body? Everybody test this for Ross. I get yes. Okay. Me too. All right. So now you just say, I'm now removing smoking from my etheric body. I'm now removing smoking from my etheric body. Yes. Okay. And I saw your finger come apart, and that means that you get a, got a signal. Okay. Yes. And see, for people watching this, this is the basic yeah. way we cure things. Now, there may be a lot of other things you have to do for yourself, but this is definitely a ba This is the number one thing that you do. So, um, do I have smoking in my spiral body? Do I have smoking in my spiral body? I get no. Right, I get the same. Okay. Do I have smoking in my gravitational body? Do I have smoking in my gravitational body? No, I get a no. Anybody get yes on that? No. No. I got yes and I changed it. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> I just kept turning it to a no. I feel like and there's I a slight symbol of a slightness that, that exists there, but like overall, I get a no. So we, but there's like a very right something yeah. coming through. So what you may picked up, Art, would could have been that. I concur. Yeah. So I concur. Hey, I concur too. So what we did is actually we removed the smoking from her gravitation. I mean, not not me, but we meaning you guys who just are sharing. Remove you remove you can do that you can remove the thing for somebody else so I just want all our people watching this to know that too so now okay we're going to go on do I have smoking in my karmic body do I have smoking in my karmic body Just wanted to say one thing. Okay, Since go ahead. we're testing on these things for us, we should also be removing them from our higher bodies in support as a group immune. Yes. Thank yes. You. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna test. Wow. I'm gonna test. Have I removed those from my bodies when they were there? Were any of them? There were some of them there. I'm testing, and I removed them. So thank you, Al. That's a good thing to remind us of. When we're doing this in a group, this is best done with people. People are a big help. Uh, okay, yes. Ross. Now, um, do I have smoking in my mental body? Do I have smoking in my mental body? Yes. Okay. And test this. Have I removed it? Have I removed it? No. Okay, we'll remove it now. Okay, I'm removing smoking from my mental body now. 
and I get yes. My mental body is clear of smoking. Ross, do you feel any different now than you did when we started this? No, but wait a minute, because when I, uh, I, I haven't removed it from my mental body. Oh, oh, okay. My, fing my fingers didn't open. Oh, oh I did again. I am now removing smoking from my mental body. Is my mental body clear of smoking? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm now, I'll test this question. Do I have smoking in my emotional body? Do I have smoking in my emotional body? Yes. Okay. And uh, remove the uh, smoking from your emotional body. I'm now removing smoking from my emotional body. My emotional body is clear of smoking. Okay, good. Uh, do you feel any different now than when you started? No. So you feel the, do you ever feel different? I used to feel different, a lot of difference. And then, especially when I was working with my sister three years ago, and uh, then I, uh, I started not feeling difference. I always ask uh, at the end of the session, and I get, uh, uh, I get yes, but I don't really feel it. Okay, but do you usually just feel basically good? Not always. Um, when you don't feel... I used to, I used to. Well, how do I you... used to feel a lot of difference without even asking. Well, how do you feel now? Do you feel good or bad? I would say normal. Uh, so normal is, is normal good? Uh, it's neither good or bad. It's just, are you relaxed? Not, not very. Okay, I'll relax more. Okay. Yeah, I want you to sit back and be... Okay. I want you to be relaxed. Okay. Uh, test this question. Do I have smoking in any of my bodies? Do I have smoking in any of my bodies? I get no. Okay. Um, Franny and I got yes. Okay. I got yes. Okay. So some people got yes. Uh, test some, are there any other bodies that we could test that we haven't tested yet? Are there any other bodies uh, that we could test well, that actually, we haven't tested yet? Yes. Uh, do you know what they are? Physical. Okay, do I have smoking in my physical body? Do I have smoking in my physical body? Yes. Okay, um, now I want you to really sit back and take a couple of deep breaths. Okay. Sit back, relax. Take a couple of deep breaths now. <clears throat> and remove that. Just actually remove... Now... Okay. I'm now removing smoking from my physical body. My physical body is clear of smoking. Did I you... get yes. What did you guys get? I got yes. It turned into a yes. Yes. I feel it's like a mixed signal. It's a... It's, uh, there's some yes to it. Don't feel very strong. Uh, okay. Uh, um, sorry, Russ. I lost your answer in during that. What did what What was your answer? I I got no. 
It okay. was no. Okay. Uh, you universal physical, no. Okay, test the universal emotional. We tested it before. I think I should test the universal mental. 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 Oh. mental. I tested mental. Okay, I'm sorry. Do I have smoking in my universal emotional body? I get no. Okay. Uh, I get no. So. Test your gravitational body again. Okay. Do I have smoking in my gravitational body? No, my fingers don't open. How about your... How, yes. I'm just getting yes. Yeah, I get yes to that too. How about your spiral body? I need to forgive myself. Yeah. Do I need to forgive others? I need to forgive myself. Your what? Yourself. Oh. I need to forgive myself. Um. Hopefully your son will change a little. <clears throat> oh, did you feel that? Did you feel Differently now. Okay. Feel differently now. No. 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 Of my yeah. Okay. Now, um, I want you to say this. I am cranking up my endocrine system to release the hormones I need so that I am not depressed. Here's the thing I want you to do. I want you to say, I am okay. now I am now cranking my endocrine system so that it releases the hormones. Hi, excuse me. Excuse me, Bayard. I am now cranking my In, my endocrine system. Hormones. My hormones. Can I say hormones? Yes, I'm I'm raising my hormone level so that I won't be depressed. I'm raising my hormones level so that I won't be depressed. I get yes. Okay. Me, There's something I want you to know about your particular situation that I was... See, I did some testing about you before I got on the call with you. You have, okay. you, you have a type of depression that's not really emotional. Like, you feel okay. generally pretty, pretty okay. You don't realize yeah. that you're depressed, but you smoke. Be, you, you're smoking to raise your hormone level. Nicotine raises the level of these hormones, and you can just do that with the Munich, and you won't need to smoke. Okay. You know, I did a little okay. research. Yeah. I did a little research about smoking too, and I found that out that there are certain hormones, dopamine and nor norepinephrine, that are raised by nicotine. Okay. And so, yes. see, you, so you need to raise those two. That, there, there's another um, hormone called serotonin that, yes. that isn't affected by this. Uh, okay. So you don't, you, see, you may also need to raise serotonin, but it doesn't cause you to smoke. Okay. When it's, when it's low, it doesn't cause you to smoke. It's just, you know. Okay. You, I guess you're writing that down, huh? Yes. Um, I need to raise dopamine, yes? Probably you should just, you, you should just raise all three immunically. So it's dopamine, Do dopamine, norepinephrine, and, and serotonin. And you can look them up on the web to find out about them. Okay. Can you repeat the second? Yes, serotonin is especially important. Okay, 
norepinephrine, it's N-O-R-E-P-E-N-E-P-H-E-R-I-N-E. Norepinephrine. Okay. You call it the energy of physical. I mean, you can test on this, of course. But test, um, you know, you have to be especially vigilant to watch the uh, entrance point, which sounds like it's in your universal physical from what he's getting and I was okay. getting to and you tested yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. By the way, I, I wanted to say on camera here so people can hear it that I just wanted to thank you, Barb, for all the teaching you've been doing because my computer keeps crashing <laughs> and it's disconnecting me and I want to thank you for helping <laughs> yeah. Ross while I was gone, you know. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> okay. Have somebody to pinch hit, you know. Okay. There. So, so now, mm -hmm. um, yep. uh, test this question, Ross. Um, have I hit the key for me to uh, st stop smoking? Have I hit the key for me to stop smoking? Maybe you should sit in my lap. No. Okay. My, fing my fingers don't open. All right, so what do you think the key might be? Uh, I think it may be a trauma or more than, than, than one. Test that question. Is it a trauma? Is it a trauma? Or more than one? Or more than one, yes. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you and everybody, this is for everybody, all the newbies, the new people watching this, I'm going to tell all everybody the formula for curing anything. This is how you cure anything, what I'm going to tell you now. Now, you, in your case, it's smoking, okay? So I want to contrast that with herpes. Because a lot of people call me and they want, they're asking me about curing herpes. And you do it the same way as you cure smoking, which is when you feel like smoking. Like, let's, you've been down to about, what, a few cigarettes a day, you were saying? Three. All right, so you're down. Two or three. So you're down to two or three cigarettes a day. So what, yes. what you do when you feel like, okay, I've I'm, 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 got to have a cigarette now. I'm going to have one of my three cigarettes. You say, okay, instead of that, I'm going to do a Munix. Okay, yes. So instead of that, you take that time and you do a Munix and you remove, okay. you remove the traumas. Like that's, the, that's going to be your time when you find these traumas that you say they're the key. So you're going to sit down, you're going to take a walk out in the forest or so you're going to, you know, like, you know, do whatever you do when you smoke, you know, just take that f time for yourself and go out in the forest and look for the thing, the, the trauma. Now for, okay. a, for a herpes sufferer, it's the same thing. You know, when I started with herpes, curing my herpes, I cured it right away, like on the first day. I never had another outbreak after the very first day. Every day I found herpes in my gravitational body. It just never came into the physical body. You follow me? Yes. So when you feel like smoking or the person like every like the person with herpes what he you have to do is change over to fe wanting to feel calm. Like, okay. like when a herpes sufferer starts worrying, oh, maybe I still have it. That's the time when he needs to stop and check to see if he still got it. Like instead of just going on, like pushing that down and getting an outbreak later. Because yeah. if, if you find the herpes, you won't get an outbreak. If you find the trauma, you won't smoke. Yes. You know? You know where? Yeah. Yes. With my eating addiction? Yeah. I found there were empty places in my bodies that I was trying to use the enjoyment of eating to fill in. Uh -huh. <laughs> and what I did was I filled in those empty places with, with healthy things. Uh-huh. Like 
supplements, herbal tea, happiness, right. telling people I love them. Right. Like I, I just tried to do positive actions to fill in the empty places so that there was no room for the addictive behavior to fill it in. Mm -hmm. So is well, it smoking I, could be that kind of thing. Yeah, well, see, like, I think, I think, like, some a habit like smoking or eating is the thing that you just fall back on when you don't know what else to do. So the thing to do is to try, like, what Byron's saying is to try that and then see what else you can do. Like, yes. it's like taking an action that is mm -hmm. satisfying but doesn't hurt you, like smoking or, or eating. Or yes, something. yes. I also tested uh, that uh, uh, in the past. I smoke uh, to, uh, like, I'll uh, feel an empty space. And uh, I install the presence of God uh, in the empty spa space. Right. So yeah, there's no room for smoking there. Then. Yeah. Okay. See, here's the thing, <laughs> like, with what I noticed with herpes sufferers, is they're trying to cure their herpes, but they're not trying to feel good. And they tolerate feeling bad or nervous or upset or angry mm -hmm. or afraid or whatever. They let themselves have those emotions. And what they need to be doing is looking for the herpes. Yes. Like if they feel upset, Look for the herpes. If you feel scared, look for the herpes. If you feel, un, you know, like angry, look for the herpes. If, if you feel agitated, if you're not relaxed, if you're tense, look for the herpes. And that's the same thing with smoking. You yes. know, see, you need to not tolerate. If you at any time during the day, if you feel depressed, or if you even think you might be and you just test and you get that you are depressed, you immediately need to remove smoking, remove depression. Yes. And then if, then if you have time, then try to find another trauma and take that out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Byard, with different kinds of addictions, different emotions are associated with them. Uh-huh. So like with herpes, it's like fear. Uh-huh. Yeah, herpes is um, fear. I think with, 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 I think with smoking, the, the emotion that I most know, when I talk to people who smoke, they always say, I smoke because it makes me feel calm. Yes, like it's When they true. don't smoke, they feel nervous. That's right. Yes. Yeah. So you could install a, a reaction, an automatic reflex to go to the calm, clear place. Whenever okay. you feel like smoking. And this, okay. this is how you cure anything, and it's what everybody needs to do, whoever tries to start this. So, like, like, let's just give, you know, in completing this meeting, which we're going to complete the meeting now, let's just give some advice to new people, okay? And the advice is, like, first of all, do this. You can't ever understand you're never going to understand it and it doesn't matter whether you believe it or not you don't have to believe it you have to do it what do you guys have to say to new people it's true uh i'll just say that i find that even if my mind is saying you know giving me uh questions about something give me a hard time i if i do the immunic action and i find i get a result that i'm looking for and it, it kind of dispels my doubts and I feel better. So it just works. That's what the bottom line is, it works. Okay. Yeah, and I think the thing is to be curious and ask as many questions as you can think of. Like, keep asking questions. And getting signals. Because, and get signals, because every time you're connected to the immunic, you're in the calm, clear place. And, I, and that's always the best place to heal from. And I want to say to the new person, it won't cost you a penny to do this. <laughs> it's all on the homepage of CureDrive.org. You go to the homepage of CureDrive.org. There's movies of people demonstrating every kind of cure. Movies of people curing herpes. Movies of people curing cancer with this. People cure cancer, would you believe, 
like ter like go. stage four terminal cancer, and they do it themselves. And so the thing to do is like nobody would ever donate their money to this. How could you believe that somebody's going to show you how to cure your MS on the on the worldwide? You know, there's a website where they show you how to cure your MS, and it's only you know you only make a small donation. You have to do it first, you know, and then when you're doing it and you feel it, then it's time, then you know it's a worthy cause. Then you know it's worth donating your money to and then you should donate something and you should get your password and do the lessons when you're, when you're ready to start curing. But before you start curing, start curing. Like just start. Like start, start on the homepage, start with the lessons there. Start by watching the movies, do the tutorial. You know, the, the number two thing after this movie, right underneath it, it there's a tutorial. Mm -hmm. St start doing this. Uh, what do you guys say? Uh, I would you like are to totally add that. You're totally right, excuse me. Mm -hmm. That's okay, you can go ahead. You go, Ralph. You are totally right. It's something you have to do, even if you don't believe it. And uh, I realized that when I started doing in Munich, I thought it was a question of reading. I thought it was intellectual. And uh, after one page, I understand that I had to <laughs> do it. Yeah. Yeah, inertia is the thing that's going to nail you the most. <clears throat> Right. And the way to overcome inertia is to be in movement. Do it. Yeah, yes. start doing which it. Which means getting signals, asking questions, taking yes. the immunic actions that you test. And, exact. and even even curing things around your major, your, the major issue. Yes. You know, everything you clear up all adds up together into a whole heightened immune system. It's all going to help you. I mean, Al, yes. you, you've lost 150 pounds doing this. And kept it off for over 10 years. <laughs> Without effort, it's not difficult. I don't diet. I eat what I want. And I, I'm not 400 pounds anymore. Yeah, that's right. I'll never be 400 pounds again. <laughs> because I didn't diet. I made an immunic alteration in who I was being. I wasn't being a fat person anymore. Yeah. Right. Right. I also say trust the knowledge you're getting, regardless of how this the words we use and the and the, the labels we put on things. You know, that's something we use to communicate. Right. And if all else fails, I just connect. Like I, I go inside mm -hmm. myself and see if I can get that lightness of being going, you know, and, and I feel connected to myself and to the world. <laughs> and then you see from that place. I mean, that, that's, that, that, that helps to make, make me calm to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> 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 First one, I'd like to use the breath a lot. The observation of breath is a tool to help one get that is in touch good. with the deeper yeah. subtleties. Yeah. The observation. Yeah, I, uh, I find is, is there, someone's connected at that level. They can see the deeper truths and be and access it much more clearly. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, and I want to add that I think to, to a new person, can I, can I give a note? That um, I think it's important to be very sincere and honest about your level of intention to be cured or be well, like be on the other side of whatever it is that you're confronting, um, and like uh, can create a vision even for yourself when you're well, what you'd be like if you were well, how you'd be different. And like what you were just doing, Ross, to be uh, vigilant about looking at what could cause you to fall back. Like what, once you're well, what would cause you to lose your, lose your cure? Because really what we're doing right here is pretty easy. Like with France, like you just can connect and you're there. And then kind of what we're doing, it's like training wheels. We're helping people get stable at that place of being clear. But then, um, the same things will hit you that caused you to get sick in the first place. So this is about building the immunity and practice and oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, a lot of us have been doing this for a long time and I can tell you 
it definitely works and you do have to do it and you do have to practice and you know pick yourself up or allow yourself to be picked up when you fail or fall okay. but i also note that you never go back as far as you were when you started it definitely um we have cumulative effects from that's that. true yeah there's a <laughs> cumulative effect so whatever you do mm -hmm. it, it you you're you're stronger later it may everything you do yeah. makes you stronger yeah. Yes. And also here is, this is where to find us. You notice this is, this is my Facebook page, Bayard Henry Barnes, right here. See this? Now, okay, on this page, if you look down this page, you're going to see these people and other people. There are many, many people writing on these movies. They're writing the, see, here's like all this, this whole line of people writing comments on this movie and if you if you put your cursor over anybody's name and you get you see them there and you can just friend them they're right there and you should friend all these people because they're all there for you I, like are you do you guys like it when people friend you like strangers friend you and ask sure. you questions about how to cure things or yes yes, yes. yes. absolutely yeah. So you're welcome to talk to any of us, and it won't cost you a penny to do this. You can you can just join this, be a part of it. You know you can participate in it. You know and have and have all these people with you to help you know to help you and inspire you and just uh, you know like be succeeding if you're not, so that you can you know you'll have somebody who is succeeding to talk to. If you fail at, gonna, at some point. You're not going to cure alone. You really aren't. You need to be with other people who are curing their diseases. You need the support of other people who are curing. Yeah, you need that group. And, that's a group memory of cure. And at the same time, you know, I am absolutely convinced that people cure things 100% for themselves. Even when we do it, you know, do things for them and we, you know, like, like Maury was saying, how you go inside people's bodies and you like adjust things. You were talking about that. But even when somebody does that for you, you are, you are curing it. If you're not curing it, it doesn't get cured. And this is what people also have to know, that you need people and you need yourself. Yes. So... I just want to say here, I am, I am completely committed to every one of you winning. And I'm testing that that's true. And I just want you all to test, just say I am completely committed to everyone on this call winning. And also everyone who watches this movie winning and see if you get a yes on that and call yes. out. Yes. Well, by the way, I got one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Does anyone else want to add anything before we stop? I want to thank you from the very bottom of my soul, you all. You've been wonderful as usual. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for uh, letting me participate with you, Ross. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you, Cross. <laughs> the more the merrier. The more the merrier. <laughs> we had more people here. Thanks for coming, Maury. That was great. Yeah, Maury, thank yes. you. Yes. Maury, I'm thank really you, Maury. I'm really glad you came to to this and were with us.